What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol DATS for DatChat Inc. On the left hand side, we do have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will be an update. You can see a lot of our old levels are no longer even close to being in play. Obviously, we're trading closer to about $4 right now. So, what we're going to do is clear the drawing set coming in, remove all of those. Again, you want to see your chart with clarity and not have clouded vision based on some uh, levels you had from in the past. So we're going to start with a brand new daily roadmap. Here's an area of support. Certainly this floor in place closer to 240. We had resistance here and we certainly wicked off of that 50 SMA and closed back underneath that level at 346, 350 roughly on today's session. So the inverted hammer would lead me to believe that sellers did take control. It's also happening on extremely elevated volume from what we've been seeing over the recent history at least. So it's looking fairly bearish in my estimation. We'll also note that the daily downtrend is fairly firm. We're also, one last piece of information from the daily, we're underneath the IPO opening prints. We've been underneath for quite some time, so not looking fantastic from that perspective either. Hopefully you've gotten the sense that from the daily, this would appear to be a short-term pop, but ultimately we should resume this downtrend. Let's take a closer look at the 30 minute just to see what else we can learn about the price action. At first, on the gap up today, it actually looked fairly promising. I'll give you that. We made a new high up and over this spike from in the past, the last high volume area that we had on the chart. And into the afternoon, we consolidated quite nicely, even got a little extra pop there, new high of day. But into the close, that's where everything fell apart, right? And most things did fall apart based on the broader marketplace today, really pulling back aggressively in the last hour of the day. This has been no exception. In the post market, are we currently trading lower? The answer is a little bit, but not dramatically, right? If we do something like this, you can see that we are back down underneath, but it's not like we're here at 250, right? So I would point out it's very likely we open on a gap down, but how significant is the gap? Again, it's not, not nothing huge. Um, it will technically put gap rules into play. So what we can do is map out where the overnight low is, where the forecasted opening print is, as well as where the close of today's session was, just so we have a little bit of a framework to use to help navigate the opening bell here tomorrow. If we zoom in, and again, please adjust those levels accordingly if they change. If we open here, fail to accept underneath the overnight low, basically fail to find new sellers, then look for longs back up through the opening print to fill the gap and potentially rally higher towards this high volume node here, close to 370, kind of the midpoint of this chop area. That's what I would watch out for to the long side if the broader marketplace gets into gear and sees a little bit of a bounce. If it doesn't, that's where I would stay far away from this thing, noting that if we come on over to the trade tab, there are obviously no shares to short. There's no options chain here, so you're not going to short this via puts. There's no reason to try to play the downside. I would just step aside, let this thing find a bottom. Maybe it pulls back and finds a higher low here. So that would be your low, higher low, somewhere you know in between ranges. We wouldn't necessarily know where that's going to be. Uh, and then from there, you would reevaluate the chart. So to recap here, the only long trade is if we have the gap and trap, something that looks like this, long to here, monitor for continuation to the high volume node, only if the broad marketplace is moving higher, or avoid this stock at all costs if we start breaking down and getting lower off of the opening print. That's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it today or learned anything new, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.